This is the first of the variation functions that I'm going to go over. This one is about direct variations. You will know that you have a direct variation because in the problem you will see the word direct or directly. So we are told that y varies directly as x. So anytime I see y varies, I write y equals directly as x means that x needs to be on the other side of the equal sign, but I also have to include a constant. Now, in these problems, I'm going to use the letter k as the constant, but you can use whatever letter you want. So y equals k times x, or whatever other letter times x. We're also told that y equals 14 when x equals 3.5. You will always be given enough information here to find k because that's something that you will not be told. So the first thing we're going to do is find our constant of variation. And with that, we're going to write and then graph the direct variation function. So like I said, the first thing we're going to do is find the constant. That should be your first step in these problems. If I know that y is 14 when x is 3.5, I'm going to replace them in the function and I'll have k left over to solve for. So plug in my values and now I'm gonna solve for k. I do that by dividing by 3.5 and 14 divided by 3.5 is 4. Now please do not circle this and say that the answer is k equals 4. I have to write the direct variation function and you're pretty much done with all of your work, you just need to know to write it. If I know that y equals k times x and k is 4, My function is y equals 4x. So once I plug in the 14 and the 3.5, I'm done with those. I use those numbers to find k. Now that I find k, I have my function. So a direct variation function is just a linear function. y equals 4x is really in my form y equals mx plus b. So it should be pretty easy to graph. m is the slope so that means my slope is a positive 4 or positive 4 over 1. b is the y-intercept now since there's nothing written after the 4x it's technically a plus 0 which means the y-intercept is 0. so i put that on my graph and then i'm going to go up 4 over 1 for the slope you can also go down and left I made a mess on that one. Okay. Um, and then you connect your points, and that's your function. That's a straight line, but that is the answer.